726, July uh, 7th, and this Wednesday, for about 15, 20 minutes, I've been hearing the dogs barking, and I'm so sick of it. This is Bruce, your neighbor. I've for quite a while. It's 7.30 in the morning. Could you please get them to quiet it down? You can hear Rick Fisher yelling out the door, maybe trying to quiet the dogs down. But he's just yelling at them. They're not listening. quite see where they are. I didn't even put my glasses on yet, but you can hear them. It's the Great Pyrenees, the Fishers on Juniper Drive. This is a very typical morning. I have been assured that when they let the dogs out of the barn in the morning, that it would be a uh, time that they would be present for a long time and they'd be quieting them down making sure that they behaved more said the summer is going to be much better because they're going to spend more time out here with the animals and they'll monitor this and make sure they're quiet they're, they're not barking so you can see the attempts by Rick Fisher any of the family. They all yell any number of different instructions out the door at them. But the dogs certainly don't listen, don't respond, don't stop barking. And here, the sound just bounces right off the walls of our building and woke me up as I mentioned just now. And they may have slowed down, they may have stopped, but here we are half an hour later, something along those lines.
nothing like peace and quiet. Otherwise, when they stop, now you get to hear the birds. Some sounds of activities in the far distance. Certainly nothing we'd consider disturbing. Now, of course, if I were to walk out into the yard and be seen, it all starts up again. Or heard, opening the garage door is one of the favorites to get them started. Well, I'm not quite motivated enough to step across the hill here in my stocking feet, but... That's the other main trigger is we get seen or heard in the front yard of our home and it sets them off and they usually won't stop until a long period has passed. <laughs> 